<laughs> Who's that? Remember me? Helped you with some dogs. Been seeing about this curse of yours. Oh, welcome, brother. It's a dark omen. Those uh, charms out in the woods? Yeah. They're all broken. All of them? So, I guess that's it for your suffering. Ah! <laughs> it's a miracle! We're saved! <laughs> the darkness lifted! <laughs> Not saved. Huh? Cursed. Uh. He broke the charms. And the spirits are set loose. We're, we're, we're doomed then? Hold on. But you said the charms was protecting the curse. I said... It was a dark omen. I said he had the demon's tongue. Right, now, I, 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 need to, I need some light here now. I, yeah, I don't know what to think. Hey, huh? look at me. Yeah? I'd think there's something going on in this holler, and it ain't a curse. And whatever else it ain't, this feller don't want you to know. Liar! I told you he would lie and dissemble. Something's up. And this one wouldn't be so quick with ideas. He didn't have some clue of it. I have the gift, my ancestor. I've got a gift myself. I'm going to commune with the spirits. Dark, dark omens, dark spirits. What's he hiding? He, he, always, he always spoke truthful to us. There, there is a dig on the other side of the hill there. There was a dig anyway. It's closed now. He always said something about not going over there. Well, maybe I'll go check it out for myself. See if I can see anything. Uh, all right. Head up. Let's go, girl. This is the day.
Coming on, girl. I told you I would save you. Yes. Said I would lead you out of the darkness. Yes. Show us the light. I shall. I shall. But first, you have to mark your signs on this paper. It's a powerful magic that will protect you on your journey. No, uh, I, I, I hereby will release, will absolve, and, and, and indemnify the aforementioned Roanoke Fuel Company. Stop reading. Hmm? You didn't tell me you could read. What kind of trick you pulling now? Oh, Oh, you're back! We thought the curse had got you. Nope, but he nearly did. Don't you go nowhere. Found this down in the old dig, leaking all the way to the lake. You've been poisoned. No, no, no. We, we, we were warned not to heed what you That's say. Right. And listen to him say it. What's this? It's nothing. Nothing? You won't mind drinking it. Oh, hey, no. hey, hey, hey! No, hey, please! Hey. No, no! Oh, you've killed me. I'm poisoned. Poison now, is it? Uh, oh, the dig. All they found was arsenic and lead. I dug down into the cave system and spread. I was meant to get you all to go. Now you heard it. It's taken me. Oh, oh dear. Dear God, oh, there's no arguing. It's clear as day. We're cursed. <laughs> cursed? What are you talking about? Oh, powerful forces have taken on this town. Oh, yes. Spirits? Yes. It's a mining company. Oh, no, it is spirits. Spirits taken through a mining company. Brothers and sisters. We got some praying to do. Yes. Pray, do something. You'll die. Or worse. You just go. It's our curse. It's ours to deal with. Now the medicine man left some money. They just take it if you want it.
closer. This must be your first time. Ah, you have kept that perfectly maintained. I love to see that. Guns are beautiful machines, but if you want to use them, you might need some ammunition. You've kept that weapon looking as nice as the day you bought it. Well done. Ah, you have kept that perfectly maintained. I love to see that. You've kept that weapon looking as nice as the day you bought it. Well done. Ah, you have kept that perfectly maintained. I love to see that. Thanks, mister. True fact. Just taking a breather. Destination. Thanks for that, friend. Safe travels. Okay, Missy. Good girl now. Step right in. Okay, look through this, but you better be serious. Ain't it time for you to leave yet, or...? for then.
Ain't it time for you to leave yet, or...? What are you waiting for, then? No, in the ledger. Watch where you walk. Sadie. Oh, John. <laughs> Come sit down. Sure. You, uh, got any work? Yeah. I mean, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But... Same as most people. I guess. Funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot, this line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south, waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob him back. Is the money good? Yeah. It's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now come on, mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. Come on, lady. Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. Some by horses. Horses are cheaper. Looks mean. He is. My ranch, it's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. He ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, want to talk about it? Well... Maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? 
Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in Saint Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there. Whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But... Not now. This outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. We cut off here. It's a view, all right. Come on, let's go take a look down in the valley. Come on, John. Help me find them. I think I see something. Yup. There they are, down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat, that's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? Hmm. Uh, come on, let's go follow them. Come on, then. Looks like they're cutting through the ca- Well 
down, girl. They'll be coming through here. Up here, get off your horse. This might be our chance. Yeah, they're stopping. And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? I got you. You're worth ten of them. <sighs> Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them? Start shooting at them or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. Make up your mind, John. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay. Well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. We're going down the canyon. Look out on these rocky paths. Two guys, blow us. Let's get closer. We can't go around them. You take one of them. I'll take the other. You gotta throw a knife. Bad as it is, we got to do something about these boys. That was clean. Okay, let's move. Up ahead, another one on patrol.
got any objections, what's in here? What's it look like? I need to relieve myself. There'll be a bucket in your set. Oh. I'm serious. Keep up, won't you? Yep, and so am I. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. You heard the lady. Thank you. I still protest my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed, kidnapped me, then let Langton kidnap me, then you killed them all and kidnapped me back. I'm the victim here. Damn you. John, would you be so kind as to shut him up? Don't listen to her. Now, let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. Bad dog. <laughs> Ain't easy, John. No, but I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. <laughs> Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now. 
Mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hey, I won't. But it would be good to have you along some more. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe. Grab him and bring him in, John. Sure. You're a bitch. And a brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. Watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. Here's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. You want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. something less dangerous, like a stick.
Made enough money for the week already? Yeah, I think it's important. 